Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and I'm here for another comic review. And this time I'm going to be reviewing James Bond, Trouble Spot. This is a collection of a bunch of, um, a bunch of, da of uh, James Bond comic strips that appeared uh, in the Daily Express over in the UK. And there have been about, I want to say like 10 of these released here. Let me, let me get the info here for you guys. Yeah, this ran from like 1958 to about 1983. There have been on nine trades, at least according to this, this one right here. Um, this is a pretty, pretty interesting little little um, book here. It's actually bigger in, in size than, than, the, than the average trade, but um, basically it collects the full story. And um, as these um, as these stories ran originally in the paper, um, they were just um, three panel stories with a brief recap of what happened on the first panel of the uh, the next day. So that's probably one of the few downsides of um, the James Bond comic strips is that they're constantly kind of in a recap. If you read it from the last panel to the first in terms of a uh, given day to the next, it can be a little, a little awkward, but um, it still works. Um, it's written by uh, Jim Lawrence, who's a pretty good writer, able to get his point across in only a few uh, panels every day. A lot of action. Um, and Yaroslav Horak is the uh, the artist. Pretty good style here. If you take a look at that, well drawn characters. Um, this this trade is is a pretty notable. Um, um, because um, I think this is the second one I've read. The first one was called um, The Golden Ghost. That one was uh, pretty good, standard Bond stuff. I don't remember exactly what was all what, what all was in it. Um, this one's pretty notable for a few reasons. Trouble Spot. This trade has um, a lot more just gay content um, than the movies. Um, I'll just leave it at that. I guess British newspapers were a little more forgiving in terms of what they couldn't couldn't show, um, and there was also a decent amount of of um, diversity um, in these in these strips as well. In the last story, which uh, let's see here, which is uh, "Die with My Boots On," that's one of the shorter stories, but it has um, uh, an old friend of, of Bond's named Smokey, who's a um, African American, and there's also um, a character who comes on late in the story who is a, um, I think she's a, a Chinese, Chinese woman who, who, who is sort of, um, key to the plot, but I'll get to that in just a minute. Anyway, um, oh yeah, and there's also a, a, um, African American Bond girl in, um, Isle of Condors. So anyway, this, this, is, this collects four different stories here, Trouble Spot, Isle of Condors, The League of Vampires, and Die With My Boots On. Trouble Spot. Um, it's, pro it's probably the best out of out of all four here. Um, this one is it's it's basically uh, when 007 is assigned to locate a valuable item belonging to a dead man, uh, he soon finds himself caught in a deadly race against the villainous Baron Shark. But can he trust the dead man's girlfriend, a mysterious savvy blonde with a taste for danger? That one's really good. Um, Without like going through and reading like every single little thing, um, has all the, all the standard Bond Bond elements of a lot of action, some uh, femme fatales, some colorful villains, Baron Shark. If you think about hmm, what's one, what's one of the shark's defining characteristics, and how can that apply to the human face? Um, let's see, Isle of Condors. That one was was a pretty good. That at, at one of the I don't know, one of the classic. Um, eccentric Bond of villains who keeps condors and uses them against his, his enemies. Um, um, that one was pretty good. Uh, that was the one that had the first um, African-American Bond girl. She queered herself nicely. Bond, um, you know, respects her. He's She's not just some eye candy for him. So uh, that was good to see. And then um, League of Vampires. That one's a little weird. That one's about... Um, about um, 
supposed vampire cult that is um, really trendy and fashionable. It's kind of weird to see a vampire cult used so so casually, like, oh, you know, have you heard of this vampire cult? Ooh, it sounds so, you know, it sounds so mysterious and dangerous. Um, but um, anyway, uh, it's basically you being used as a, as, a, as a front for assassins, uh, killing um, high-ranking um, businessmen, politicians. It, it's kind of, kind of an interesting, um, an interesting uh, plot once you once you uh, get down to it. And uh, in particular, the the vampire's fangs are um, are a pretty cool contraption. Um, and the last one, die with my boots on. That's probably the, the weakest of the bunch. That one kind of it's shorter and um, a whole plot point about someone who's developing this, this drug called no pain, which is supposed to give you some, some sort of high where you're impervious to pain for a certain amount of time. A whole plot element of this with the with this uh, Chinese girl and her her uncle, I believe, is like not even mentioned, not even hinted at. You don't, you don't, you don't see them or hear them mentioned until Bond is being. Um, until James Bond is being um, uh, questioned by this this mob boss who's interested in you know uh, producing this this uh, this uh, medication. So um, it's only then that you see wh where this girl is and how she makes the plot. It's a little a little um, a little sloppy, but for Trouble Spot, Isle of Condors, and League of Vampires. Trouble Spot is a really good, um, really good uh, James Bond comic strip volume that you can get. There are a bunch that, that are at my library, so I'll be checking out those periodically. I think the next one is uh, Casino Royale. That's the next one I'll review of, of this particular series. Um, so overall, hmm, if I give it a three and a half out of five, I mean, I think it's it's pretty good. I think it'd be interesting to have have some more James Bond comics, you know. I'm not sure who would have it. It would have to be someone who who gets the licensing from, uh, I think it's Eon Productions that, that owns James Bond. But it would be interesting to see that. And I, I know that there are also some Bond comic books that came out that were adaptations of some of the movies as well as some, some sort of standalone stories. So um, if I could find any of those at any conventions or online somewhere, then um, I'll, I'll, I'll check those out because I definitely have, have an interest in the, uh, in the uh, franchise. That being told, I'll leave you guys with a preview of next time, Outlaw Territory Volume 1. This is a Western anthology series from Image. Um, I believe it's been all collected up into three trades. I had to go uh, get an interlibrary loan because um, it wasn't directly available from my library, but that's a good, good, little, um, good little thing to mention is that... Um, looking for comics you you know we're out there but you you might not be able to get for a, a decent price it's always good to check your library and if they have a um if they have, if they have an interlibrary loan um uh, form or some sort of um thing that you can fill out at your actual library itself that's really good because I, cause I was able to get get that book which is uh not available from my local library system so uh, that's all for now. Um, Outlaw territory next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.